Hi everyone, this is Richard. In this video, let's go over broadcast stream. So what we've done before with streams is we've gone over single subscription streams. So basically, when you do the listen method, you're going to go ahead and automatically create a stream subscription, right? So what it looks like is this. We had a stream controller, event source goes into it, right? Add event, or we could add stream onto the stream controller. And when we use the stream controller to add stream subscription, or I'm sorry, listen, stream controller dot stream dot listen, it would create a, create a stream subscription and a callback. All right. So a broadcast stream is just where you can have multiple listens. But anytime you do change something, you change it quite a bit. Okay, so there's a lot of things that are a little bit different. Notice there's no stream controller here. It's not that I don't think you it's not that you can't use a stream controller. It's just that it's not as helpful. So I just mentioned in previous videos that stream controller does help you out a little bit. It has some features that help abstract things and make it a little bit easier. So broadcast streams is a little more complicated in the sense that it's a little bit harder to track the streams. Um, one of the characteristics of broadcast streams are, is that it's OK to lose information in this a stream, single stream subscription, as the stream is sending out information, you're collecting all this information, maybe just collecting it in memory, but you're collecting all this information itself the whole time. So you're, you're, it's saving in memory itself. So if you're saving a lot of information, it's using up a lot of memory. Apparently with the broadcast stream, it doesn't matter if you're losing some information, you're not saving all of it in the memory. I don't have a good example of that. So what I'm going to do is use, I'll, I'll go over that in just a second. I'll, well, I'll use the broadcast stream just to see how it goes, but it's going to actually save all the information um, in the memory as if it was a single subscription stream. All right. So notice the um, subscription um, stream subscription or stream controller is actually not here. And I guess it's just not necessary because or it's maybe it's one step too far that if we're going to use a stream subscript multiple stream subscriptions, that may be a little confusing. Let's let's take a look at this. So by the way, there is no type stream subscription broadcast stream. <laughs> Jeez. There is no type broadcast stream. It's just a stream. So I'm going to say stream int a one. It's this one right here. So it shoots out every second an integer zero and um, it counts up by one every second. And then I'm going to turn it into as broadcast stream. OK, and if, I, if there's any question, print a right here dot is broadcast stream and it should be true because it's right here. And I'm going to create a stream controller stream subscription right here. And what I'll do is just directly go to a dot listen dot print. When when I was looking at callbacks, it just reminded me of the function reference. I usually don't like to do that. I like to just print it all out because it's easier for me personally to read. Other people have their own styles and their own preferences, of course. The um, another way which you could actually do it um, is by using a stream subscription. But unfortunately, this way doesn't actually work. So if you use stream subscription, I'm really sorry. This is really tough. If you could have stream controller, stream controller dot stream dot as broadcast stream, it will convert this into a broadcast stream, right? It'll convert, create this into a stream. But if you use dot listen, that actually doesn't work. Why? I'm not clear. Where is the actual broadcast stream object? I think this is not is equal to this because it'll say the stream has already been listened to. So in other words, another way to actually do this, I might be super confusing. You could say um, a broadcast stream equals this. You could do something like that. And then it would be SS equals BCS dot like you could do something like that. OK, so you'd have to see stream. That's another possibility that would work. But doing this two times would not work. But then you'd have to change this one also because this one does not is not the same. This object is not the same as this object right there. OK, 
So I think that's why they don't show the stream controller because it doesn't give you anything by adding that extra layer of abstraction. Unlike when you use a single stream subscription, it gives you more choices and more choices, things to do, okay? Um, and so right here, what we'll do is on the HTML output, we'll ask, is it paused, the SS right here, or the SS2, which one is paused? And the remove will be the SS2. If it's paused, resume. If it's resumed, if it's running, pause it. And submit will be SS, okay? So if we run this thing, it first should say true, right? Print a dot is broadcast true. Then it'll print SS, and then it'll print SS2 right underneath it. And then it goes on. And if I hit remove, I'm going to remove or pause the SS2, right? And if I hit submit, I'm gonna hit pause SS, right? So it's all paused. Now we have to watch the behavior. Now when I click, oh, by the way, I click add one. Add one is ss.paused, true. Add two is paused as well, okay? If I click on remove again, that's going to be SS2. So that's gonna be the one that counts 100. It's at 113 right here. It goes all the way up to, to 50. So what's happening is in this particular implementation, I'm using it as if it's a single stream subscription. Why? Because it held all of this information in memory that when I resumed it, it printed it all out, right? So let me pause that again, paused, and I'll hit submit and it resumes all the way there. So it was it's saved it all in memory and then prints it all out in the end, all right? So that's broadcast stream simply. Again, this is just a high view. If you have some questions, please put them in the comment section because I don't know everything there is about the broadcast stream and how to implement it and stuff like that. But that's the how to instantiate it. Like I said, there is no broadcast stream type. A stream and a broadcast stream is the same thing. You don't need the stream controller, or at least it may not be useful, so you're probably not gonna use it very much. But at the same time, it's one of those things that you have separate listening stream subscriptions, and you can manipulate each stream subscription separately as your application goes on, all right? So I'm getting a better concept of what streams are actually like. Still a lot of questions going on, so let's keep moving on too, okay? Thank you very much.